President Bola Tinubu's recent official visit to Beijing, China for the forum, China-Africa Cooperation, culminated in both countries signing a number of critical agreements on infrastructure, solid minerals development, power, technology, telecommunications, agriculture, and cultural exchanges. Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Abubakar Atiku Bagudu, who was on the president's delegation and signed some of the agreements, provided explicit details on the scope of the agreements and said they have a responsibility to see to the realization of the agreements. China and Nigeria uh, poster a common understanding which includes or prioritize lifting people out of poverty, sharing prosperity across the globe as, as well as an agreement specifically on the development of human resources. This is in addition to the other agreements, like I said, that have been signed covering media, of which NTA is a prominent. The minister said Nigeria has the capacity to absorb all the potential investments from China. Also said that Nigeria has to increase exports to China for better balance of trade between both countries. We should respect each other's civilization. We should respect each other's culture. We do not see any person's or other person's culture as being inferior to ours. So if we do this, we are going to build a kind of harmonious international system that will be uh, better for humanity and nobody will actually feel isolated. International affairs and political analysts on the program welcomed foreign direct investments, but called for a diligent regulatory framework to ensure that the country's interest is protected. They also stressed the need to ensure judicious use of the borrowed funds. Nigeria should continue to maintain very cordial relation with not just only China, but all the other uh, great powers. Um, Nigeria has a lot to benefit in the areas of te uh, technology transfer. Nigeria has a lot to benefit in the area of getting foreign loans to, 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 to carry out its development programs. Nigeria will benefit a lot in terms of attracting foreign direct investments. The guest also advised government to institute a mechanism to oversight Chinese companies in Nigeria to forestall allegations of excesses.